well guys I haven't really seen much today it's cold it's snowing and the lights really not very good so uh, yeah why don't you say we uh, go inside do some editing get a hot cup of coffee sounds good to me let's go Inside. It's nice and warm in here. So I thought that today I would take you through uh, some of the editing from last week's episode where I went and had an adventure with some sheep. So let's dive right into Lightroom and we'll start editing a few of those photos. All right, everybody. So jumping in here to Lightroom, we're going to get started. And uh, this is a photo that I shared earlier, but I'm going to take you through the editing on this one. And you can see right away that the uh, the white balance is off by quite a bit. Um, a lot of the photos that I shot that day, um, they ended up kind of like, you know, really blue. Uh, it was lower light, so, you know, it's to be expected. But uh, I need to do some work on this one uh, to get it to where I want it to be. So let's just jump into the editing module, or should I say the development module, and we'll get started. As always, the first thing that I do is do a little cropping. So I'm grab the crop tool, hold down shift so I can keep my proportions, and I'm just gonna edit this up and do something, something like that. I think that looks good. Maybe a little, a little closer. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to boost my exposure. I think I'm gonna go up something like 80. I think that looks good. I want to do really high key. Um, I really want the focus to be on the horns here and on the eye. That is my main focus for this one. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, next up, I'm going to adjust the white balance. And I am going to raise this to right about, well, 66.50. I think that looks good to me because these sheep aren't white they're more of a cream color um, they get dirty and uh, so they stand out from the snow a bit you know and so I want to show that off I want to show this kind of cream color and uh, this guy shows it off really well so next thing I want to do is you can still see this uh, line from where the snow is and I want to make that even more subtle. I want to kind of blend that area in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, grab a new mask, I'm going to get a linear gradient, and I'm just going to do kind of like a really soft gradient right there on that mask. And then I'm going to take the clarity slider here, and I'm going to reverse the clarity. So I'm going to drag this all the way. And what that does, it really softens out uh, your edges right there. And um, you can use this on actually a lot of stuff. Reverse clarity kind of gives things um, kind of a dreamy, like kind of nice soft appearance. So uh, I've seen where a lot of people, you know, crank up the clarity on the positive side, to sharpen details and stuff like that. Um, and so obviously going the other way with it kind of does the opposite thing, which is really cool and really nice when you need to soften things naturally. Um, in Lightroom versus Photoshop. So I am also going to bump up the exposure a bit. Something probably like that. Just because I want to make sure that uh, that line there is nice and soft. Okay. I'm going to go in here and I think I'm going to do another selection. I just want to see about selecting the subject here. Let's see how that does. I'm going to do a little contrast here just to kind of darken the eye, darken the uh, horns a little bit. I'm going to boost the saturation just a bit because I want to pop those horns and that eye out. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little clarity too. 
Let's see what that does. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I think Clarity brought in a little too much, too much uh, dark right there where I didn't want it. So, all right, I'm going to close that out. We'll do that. Um, I'm going to try to raise the shadows a bit, just a little bit, not too much. There we go. Something like that looks pretty good. Okay, so I also want to go down here to the vignetting, and I'm going to reverse the vignetting. I kind of want to hide some of these some of these areas up here by the horns. Uh, they're not too bad though. I'm not going to worry too much about those. Uh, I mean, this is a animal in the snow, you know, so um, kind of want to get that effect. All right, I think that is looking pretty snazzy. He looks pretty good. Really bringing the attention down to that eye. I think right now I'm going to go ahead open this guy up in Photoshop, do some cleanup work. There's really not a lot to do for this edit, but I wanted to take it through with you anyway, kind of show you what I did, show you the magic. So here we go. Um, in past workflows, I've used various Topaz products. Um, I started out with Denoise and then went to AI Clear. And now I am using Topaz Sharpen AI for both noise removal and sharpening my details. I found that uh, it does a really good job of reducing the noise while keeping some of those details nice and crisp. So we're gonna jump into that. Go into Topaz, I'm gonna open this up in Topaz Sharpen AI. And you can see here, it's got a bunch of presets, motion blur, uh, out of focus, too soft. You know, it's got like normal, very noisy, very blurry. I've been tending to use this out of focus, very noisy for a lot of stuff. Um, it just kind of reduces the noise enough and then you can see like it's getting some of these nice details in there as well. So it gives you a little preview and then you say, okay, apply this and then you gotta wait for it to process. Um, and this is where I would tell you a funny joke but I don't have a funny joke. So, um, you know, the joke's on me. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this thing to process. Here we go, almost done. Three, two, one, there we go. Okay, so let's get back into here. Um, I just wanna do a little bit of burning here around the eye, just a little bit. The pupil, I want it to pop out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go to the dodge, excuse me, not the dodge tool, the burn tool, there we go. Burn tool. Use my bracket, use my right bracket to uh, make this a little bit bigger. There we go, I'm just gonna burn. Yes, I know, I'm doing uh, destructive editing on this photo, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, you know, it's just one of those things like, I'm pretty confident of the changes I'm making. There's always Command Z if I make a mistake, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna wanna go back and like, undo any of this or, or you know, want to make changes to the fact that, uh, you know, I think this is the edit that I want to make. So, so I'm happy with just letting this uh, be a destructive edit. And so here we go. I think that looks pretty good. Darkened up the eye just a little bit. I darkened up the edge of the eye just so that the eye will pop. And now if we scroll back, we can see the history of it. And then boom. Looks good. Really pops out the eye. That looks nice. Uh, I still see a lot of blue in there. So I'm going to open this up in Camera Raw Filter and see if we need to... Oh yeah. See, just a little bit. Plus five. We'll go plus six just for good measure. I think that's good. Yeah, there we are. That makes it look really nice. I like that a lot. So that's about it for this edit. I think the only thing missing is boom. We'll drop my logo on there. Make that look good. And usually I'll put some sort of a blending mode on these. So color dodge or I think linear burn here makes this one. Drop the opacity down so it kind of blends in there. There we go, that looks good. And now, uh, 
what I have here is in my libraries, and if you have Adobe CC, if you've got a subscription to Adobe, you've got this library option here. And this is really nice because you can throw in some colors. If you like some certain colors, you can throw them in there. If you've got a logo, this is a vector logo. You can throw this in your library, drag it onto any photo that you've got, and instantly make your little logo, watermark, whatever signature, whatever it is, you can throw that on your photos really easily just from your library. Uh, super handy, super great. I love that feature. So nice. So uh, this guy's done. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and save this guy. And then we can go back up into Photoshop. And I'm going to take you back to uh, the import. See where we started out from. So this is what we started out with. And this is what we finished with. I think that turned out so good. I really like this shot. I, I always wish that the uh, horns were a bit bigger, but um, you know, I think that's probably always the case. So, but I'm really happy with this. I love the eye here and uh, the snow on the antlers totally makes this. So really happy with this shot. So let's find another shot to edit. I really want to do another one, so um, let's try one that I haven't shared before. I think this one takes the cake. I think uh, it's another one in this series, but I really like it. I like the open mouth and the seeing both eyes like that, so I think this one needs to be edited. So let's dig into it. I'll head over to the develop module, and first thing I'm going to do is crop, and I'm going to get right up in close. Something I think like this, I'm going to want to add more room to this other side, but I'll do that in Photoshop. Uh, but for now, I think this is okay. We'll just go ahead and hit the crop button and there's our crop. Next thing, we'll boost the exposure. Something like that, I think. And then we'll bring the warmth up. Yeah, something, I'm thinking like I don't know. Let's try 6750, something like, yeah, I think that's good. Because remember, I had to uh, boost the warmth on the other one. So I think this should work on this one. So, okay. So, next thing I'm going to do is jump on over here. I'm going to throw a mask on here. I'm going to take this linear uh, gradient right here, do something like that this and remember I'm gonna take in I did this on the other one so I'm gonna go in here with my clarity reverse the clarity and you can see how much that softens that up you know that it really softens up that one edge and then I'm going to take the exposure up to and just really soften that line up something like that I think that works really well there we go uh, I am gonna boost the saturation just a little bit here something like that Okay, good. Let's take this up into Photoshop. So we will open this up here. Boom, Photoshop. First thing I'm going to do is Topaz Labs, go into Sharpen. We're going to take the noise, reduce the noise out of this thing. I think I'm going to probably just use the same settings as I did for the last one since it seemed to work really well. So. I'll just have to wait for this preview to render and then we'll just go ahead and apply it. So there we go. We'll apply this. Wait for this image to process and once it does we'll jump back into Photoshop and just finish this up. Really want to bring out the eyes of this one. They're so funny. They've got these big bulbous eyes. Um, <laughs> I just think they're amazing. All right. Topaz has done its thing and we are ready to roll on this one. So like I said, I wanted to kind of add some space over here on this other antler. So I'm going to unlock this layer and then I'm just going to drag this over a little bit. Something like that I think gives a little bit more space or maybe something like that. I don't know. So anyway, so I am going to just select I need to select this uh, side here without getting any of that horn in there. And then I'm just going to do content aware fill. So I'm going to go to fill, content aware fill. And Photoshop has another content aware fill 
that's a little bit more uh, in depth um, and specific, but I don't need that for this since I'm just kind of filling this general area. So, uh, but Photoshop did not do a great job. You can see like there's some weird stuff happening right here and there's some weird stuff happening right here. So I'm just gonna sample this, kind of get rid of some of this stuff. Oops, I grabbed some horn. No worries, just drop this in here. Kind of sample this area like that. Just kind of make this look a lot more natural. Yeah, there we go. Cool, that looks good. I'm gonna go in here to the burn tool and I am just gonna bring out the eyes a little bit more. We'll just burn there around the eye, burn here into the pupil, their weird pupils that they've got here. It's got a weird shape to them to make them look funny. All right, something like that. I'm gonna darken up this little black patch that they've got here. Yeah, I think that's working pretty good. I'm gonna darken up parts of the mouth too. They've got a lot of black in their mouth and their tongues are, are weirdly black, but such a cool animal. There we go. Yeah, that's looking really good. I, I like that. Um, this guy was like chewing on some grass that he dug up out of the snow. I think that looks really cool. I like that a lot. I like those eyes. I like the connection for this guy's eyes. They look great. I don't think there's much more I want to do on this guy. Um, I think he's popping really well. Let me just try. I'm just going to play with some stuff here. Let me try the brightness. Do I want to brighten this up anymore? And I guess I could. I could brighten it up a little bit more. I don't want to lose any of the detail in here, but I think. Yeah, I think I can still see some of the details. And I think I like that brighter just a little bit better. Kind of brings the attention to the eye even more. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna stick with that, guys. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go to my library, drag my logo over, kapow, slap that logo on there. Throw a blending mode on this layer. Uh, something like now I'll just go linear burn again drop the opacity down so it's not so uh, in your face I don't want all the attention to be on the logo I want the attention to be right here eyes are up here boys right there all right so that looks good I'm happy with that I think that looks pretty cool yeah this was such an amazing moment guys being here with this sheep sitting in the snow across from this little little uh, valley from him I was probably like 20 feet away from him he's just kind of chowing on some grass he dug up and I'm just sitting there in the snow photographing him yeah it was awesome had a blast here with them so cool that's gonna do it uh, let's save this and go back into Lightroom and we're gonna see the difference here so let's go back to our import and that's what we started out with so we started out here, really kind of a colder, darker image, and this is where we ended up. I think that looks pretty sick. Really happy with this one. I love it. And it brings back great memories too, being in this snowstorm. So again, before and after, making magic in Lightroom. All right, guys, this is it. Uh, this is all I've got for you today. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I know I have. I, I really enjoy sharing uh, my editing with you and hopefully you picked up something. Hopefully you learned a little something through here. And uh, you know, I do offer some one-to-one -one, uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. So if any of those programs are tripping you up and giving you a hard time, uh, I can do a private session with you and we can do a Zoom call and jump on Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever and I can walk you through some of that stuff and uh, help you out. So just wanted to throw that out there. If anybody's looking for that kind of help, then I do offer that. And I think it would be uh, a benefit to you. And uh, yeah, we could get to know each other a little bit better too. So that'd be cool. But that's it. 
thanks again for watching. And uh, yeah, next week I've got a special one. Uh, I went up after some ptarmigan, so I'm going to hopefully be able to share that one with you. It was a good time, and uh, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. So until next time, see you later.